when I was little and found art, and it seemed like this magical pathway of expressing oneself that was nonverbal. Because I'm dyslexic, finding that felt powerful and freeing. In the visual world, there are no barriers. something that opens up when you don't have the ability to just default to words, like a kind of human one-to-one -one connection that, um, that can emerge. When I travel, I really like to just get that hand-eye connect. You never really see for me until you actually start to depict what's before you. There's some magical moment that happens when you're like tracing form with your hand and with your eye. All of my visual expressions comes down to shapes. I draw these things and then they feel like they're a part of me. There's like a muscle memory that I'm building that then it, you know, kind of just comes forth when I work on a more complete piece. As a museum goer, I became totally fascinated with ancient Inca civilization in Peru. I mean, they didn't have a, a written language, and so there's such dense visual iconography as a result. faces eye to eye that maybe have all the different shades and sizes and types and socioeconomic backgrounds that you might perceive. Like there's this feeling like, oh wait, we're all in this together.
it's important to travel and feel refreshed by new visions because I think for me, I can really get in a rut of thinking that what's before me is all that's possible. And sometimes we need to be reminded that anything is infinitely possible. Thank you.